Hey guys, welcome to the bonus section. So this is like the introduction to what we'll be covering in the bonus section of our neat code along uh, series. So we'll be covering the bonus section if the code along series gets some traction. If some people actually watch it and want to see it implemented in 3D, then I'll be happy to try to make a, another code along series or a tutorial series depending on what people want. So you've already seen what we uh we can do in 2d with neat now this is the implementation of neat in 3d this scene is uh, sorry i clicked on one of the brains this scene is a 3d version of ne the neural evolution of augmenting topology scene with fishes so at in this scene we actually created a mesh and you know a simple mesh of a fish and Put it in, added some animations, but only to the player mesh, and then uh, created some fish that chase after food in three dimensions. It's um one big difference in this is obviously we actually have a character controller. We have a fish that we can create and interact in the environment with. We can get food and get light just like the other agents can, and we also can interact with the other agents by being spotted by being spotted by their sensors so in the environment we are uh, the fish will see us as another fish any other agent and it might try to avoid us or it might try to cut us off for food or we might be able to get food from it to make it act in different ways the whole goal was to see how our manipulation of the or our influence into the environment actually makes uh, these fish act as well as to see how this um, neural evolution of augmenting topologies will work in 3d in a 3d environment and it's not really the training the you know the 3d uh, the the genetic training that's the problem it's just that this in 3d space the search space is extremely large and it's um, there's a lot more, it's a lot more complicated problem than it appears to be. It is not just the addition of one dimension. It's um, the addition of complicated search spaces and complicated computation that needs to be done. So this, we're, what NEAT is, is just a um, convoluted neural network being trained and uh, the uh, structure and the weights being trained with a genetic algorithm. So maybe if we add LSTMs or something, we'll get it'll be a lot easier to um we might be able to do it in less cells, but or in less nodes. But right now, this is how it is. Now on the left we have best time, add to best, the same type of setup we had in the part one in the uh, 2D version. But in this you'll see that our best time actually will go up a lot slower. So I'll pull back and let this simulation run and see how the training goes you guys can see how the fish will slowly evolve in this environment and keep an eye out on the best time to see how high we can get it because it won't go very high but it will increase so you can still see that there is st some machine learning happening so remember that anytime the best time is hit the generations will reset the current generation will go back to zero because anytime we reach the best time, we respawn all the agents uh, with the brain of the best fish, so that our best, um, so that our agents are always competing against the best. Okay, so I will go to the edit. I will go to project settings, and I will now up the time to let's say ten. Ooh. when you're going really fast it's hard to control but one more thing is that now that we're in 3d space it um and we're we're having animations and meshes um the time scale will actually lag if we go up to 20 so we have to keep it to um 10 so if i go up to 20 there will be some lag that begins to happen when all the agents are in the uh, in the scene so we'll go to 10 and it then runs it still is pretty fast it's fast enough as we can see the best time is going up 150 um and we started at 50 so
So now, after letting it run for a little while, really the best time hasn't went up above 150. I've seen it go up uh, to 300, and I've seen it go up, um, and I've seen it uh, cement at 100. So really, this isn't the best um, example of machine learning, I would say, because we can't get, a problem is not really solved. Right, we want the agents to be able to live for an extended period of time. We would say relatively solved is about three thousand. These agents, um, they they only go to like we, we see now they're at two hundred. So it might be the a problem with the training, or it might be a problem with just the search space being too difficult. Um, but whatever the case is, this will be the bonus section. We will create this, and we will use our solved version of need. To, uh, to see if we can create better agents in the bonus section. So again, there was a flaw in this code. When, um, when I was writing it initially, I, uh, there was a, I, I left a flaw by accident in the code. And um, yeah, now I believe that is the reason why we're not getting the best training. And hopefully once that flaw is fixed, we will get even better training than 225 and uh, with a lot more ease. So that's the end for the bonus section. I hope you guys stick along through all of this. Please let me know if you guys want to keep seeing videos like this. Please subscribe. Please comment. All of that helps me just to let me know if I should make this bonus session, if I should make a tutorial or continue videos like this. So thank you very much. And now we'll start the actual code along section. All right. Peace.